Hey there, uh, this is Matt from Tamara Music. Um, today we have a very special um, guest, I guess, um, in terms of two amazing synthesizers. We have an original ARP 2600, which is basically a vintage bit of gear and no longer in production. We also have a faithful recreation of the ARP 2600 from Cork. Today we'll be comparing these two synths side by side in a fun way, not a scientific way, and in a subsequent video we'll be featuring Roger Mason, who is the owner of this original ARP 2600, to talk about the findings he's seen between the two units. So anyway, um, we'll get into it. Um, straight away we're just going to bring in an oscillator on both machines. You're going to have the original in your right ear and the clone, the copy, in your left ear. What you might notice straight away is that the uh, original is actually quite buzzier, brighter. So we're just going to bring the low pass filter down slightly and try and balance them. But yeah, it's quite a difference. Uh, we're now going to compare the three oscillators on each machine. Um, both have a pulse width oscillator on oscillators 1 and 2. Um, on oscillator 2 you can actually scan through the uh, range of the pulse width, um, getting narrower and wider. Oscillator 3 is a sawtooth on both. Here we go. So that's oscillator 3 on the original. It's just a sawtooth. You can patch it to do um, a pulse width, but we're going to just uh, show each oscillator individually. Oscillator 1. I'll just open up this filter again back to where it was, so it's going to be a bit buzzier. You can hear that buzz comes back. And yeah, no actual uh, pulse width um, control on that oscillator. Oscillator 2 does have control over the pulse width. So you get a phasing kind of sound. And now we have the clone. Oscillator 3. Not as buzzy. Still lovely. Oscillator 1, just pulse width, no control over that. Oscillator 2, we've got already sounding buzzy, but that's because it's a narrow pulse width. And we scan through that, and we're sort of narrowing and opening and getting a sort of phasing sound. And we'll now listen to both filters. I'm going to sweep through the full filter range with no resonance on both. Uh, then we'll do 25%, um, 50% and 100% resonance on, on both units and just hearing how it will self-oscillate this filter quite a lot so you can actually play the filter, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we'll do that now. Oh yeah, so this is oscillator 3. We're going to sweep through the full range of the filter with no resonance. And now we'll go 25% resonance. Fifty percent resonance. This just sounds so good. Seventy-five percent. This is where we're going to get some um, self oscillating. full resonance, maybe turn down your speakers for a second. <laughs> yeah. And 
same thing on the clone. Oscillator 3 as well. No resonance. Just this being a new unit, the dials are really nice and smooth. It's quite easy to get that smooth range of, um, of sweep. And now we go 25% uh, resonance. Fifty percent resonance. Seventy five. Whoa, we're already getting resonance. Self oscillating. Uh and we're gonna go full resonance. <laughs> Bulk your ears. Second filter. Uh, we're going to look at the second filter. There's two types. That was already on type two. We're going to look at type one. So we'll just see once again for all the. So 25% on type one. Five percent on type one. Seems to be less resonance on, was well, less self oscillating on that one. And then we're going to do full resonance, and once again, already self oscillating, even at the filter being fully open. So yeah, on the um, original machine, uh, the right output seems to be sort of playing up a little bit. We've managed to sort of um, balance that out by using a Allen and Heath mixer down here, just to kind of get the EQ um, kind of closer, um, so that actually both outputs sound the same. So the left and right output on the original machine are actually kind of either dithered a bit of a time or just yeah. The oscillators on both machines, um, they do have fixed uh, oscillator destinations. Uh, as it is, but you can actually, if I get Simon to come in closer here, Simon, <laughs> we can actually replace the oscillators on oscillator one. We can actually use a uh, sawtooth. Um, we can change it to a square as well uh, on oscillator two. We have an option for sine, uh, triangle, sawtooth, and then oscillator three, um, we have a choice of, it looks like it's almost like reverse sawtooth and a narrower pulse. So basically we want to now look at each machine individually. Um, previously, we had each uh, machine in your left ear or your right ear, respectively. Um, but what we want to do now is just go full stereo with the brand new unit and just build a couple of patches and then we'll do the same on the original.
Thank you. 